out daily driving last week and windows are always steamed up i fixed my wipers come in the back and it's soaking wet here this is like wet so obviously my windows peeking in it big strip down door card off probably the back seat out i've already started by taking the bench out all the trimmings and then somehow cheese wire this window out wish me luck i'm just gonna get stripping now look at this water let's pull the bunk out and it'll be all right eh? no i'm gonna have to address it unfortunately it's probably gonna be a little bit all over the shop this video maybe a little bit of cleaning seats while all the stuff's out and i'm waiting for stuff to dry or waiting for say stuff to stick the window back in perhaps yeah it's uh bottom of the seat feels really really wet as well which isn't ideal see the water here where that's where it's been coming down it's been in the garage for uh, two days now so just have to impact impact driver these bleeding screws out one of them's not even a proper one put back seats out a load more water here these are brand new seals as well. Blue lights. You can see all that. That's all water. That coming in the boot through them seals. They're meant to be brand new. How's it getting in? You can see there. The sponge is wet under the light. Wow! Have you seen how wet it is? This it is soaking. It's a good job of caught it. It's going mold. It would be going mouldy that and everything. Look how wet it is. It's not stopped raining for a week, two weeks while I've been driving my car. That's two weeks outside from being dry all winter. Oh, it's, it's absolutely soaking. That's escalated, hasn't it? Just using a bit of fishing line, pike fishing braid, chop the window out slowly but surely. That's my window out. Good cheese wiring with that pike braid. <laughs> Witchwood pike braid. It's like £25 braking strain, not bad. Got a... Uh, these are all a bit knackered, these. To hold the trim on. A little bit of rust there starting. So it's just as well. It came out. Well, it needed to come out. It was... I don't even think it was sealed along here in a few places. It feels like silicon, that. Yeah, it's probably the same story on the other side as well. Good excuse to clean up the seats. Good morning. Monday at work. I brought the green cleaner in, parcel shelf, the bench. A couple of little bits and bobs with the old uh, pet and stain and owner. Break in gently for a Monday. Right, let's see if we can cheer it up a bit. It's not actually a Cosworth parcel shelf, this it's just a normal three door Sierra one. Um, it's a bit rotten, as you can see, there's plenty of stains and stuff on it. We'll see if we can cheer it up a bit. Yes, away we go. Got a little brush just to try and get in the corners where that machine won't. It'd probably be all right doing this outside with a, a jet wash on a really low power. I'd say it's never ever been cleaned in its life, has it? If it's 37 to 40 years old. See the color of this water coming out. God damn, I didn't think there'd be that much of a difference. I'm not even in daylight here, I'm in a cabin with false light, but look at that. Whoa. Yes, lad, look at that difference. Unbelievable. It's not meant by a long shot. It's only a scruffy parcel shelf, but yeah, I'm going to crack on to the other side, I think. 
top banana that's just out the parcel shelf that one pass <laughs> shocking it's a big area to catch dust though isn't it you know every time you have the window open and every time you're smoking everything lands on your parcel shelf doesn't it a couple of bits drying now i'm just going to give it a bit of the mr muscle but i think i'll give it a bit of water and try and scrub it with a brush Parcel shelf, look at that rascal. It's looking mint. Save the seat for last. Might not be the move that, it's just drunk it, all that water. I've got a bit of it off with a brush, but there's not much on the floor, it's all sunk into it. Oh, that's so bad. That's shocking. Shocking, mate. Bits are looking awesome. Look at this seat. That is fresh, mate. I mean, the biggest difference has got to be the parcel shelf, but it was a bit scruffy to begin with, and it, I'm not that bothered about that. I mean, I want it for my car, definitely, and I want it clean. But, you know, that was the least important. The seats come out real nice. Just this as well off with the uh, rear wheel arch, that bit, bit of carpet. Yeah, so I've done, done for today, really, all these bits. A bit of air on, on it now as well, a bit of fresh air in the sun. Do it a treat, that. Absolutely made up with that. Another set of front seats cleaned. He's well happy. Done the business again there with the old uh, little green. Little green, big performer. So a flying start today. I fucking just sliced my finger open, turning the tap on somehow. Don't even ask. All I wanted was a brew. Oh, do I work on this guy's car now, knowing I'm going to have a day like this? a bit of a fluffing up top fluffer <laughs> I'm not gonna lie they're pretty faded the top of them and this cat that keeps coming in my garage can you see where it's actually been in the car and scratched up the velour yeah if I catch that cat that's what we're talking off the back bench well worth doing shocking every time you probably go over it again and still get murky water like that <clears throat> almost dropped a bollock there guys and drying me seat on the fire and it resting like that against fire it's melted the bristles and it come in here and it was against there i could have nearly melted all the nylon on the back of there sheesh that was close if ever you're drying anything with a fire, oh, don't take your eye off it. That was a bit of a, a bit leery, that, my God. Nice day, I might just put it outside. Put it on the rock salt, dry out a bit. Just having a look at this guy's car now. Does anyone else roll with loose wheel nuts like this? Just on brake pads. Done one side. He had no left on him. And then, dead hard to unwind the caliper as well, or rewind it. 
Sheesh, there's not much there. Just giving these sliders a bit of a wire brush in. Oh, they're a bit, they're a bit oxidated down. Close and personal, this one. Shit, should take the hard hat off. Oh, he's got some rusty brake lines there, Annie. Do you think Mr. MOT man's going to have something to say about that? Oh, it's a bit crusted out. Good grief. Pray to the rewind gods. This is going to rewind. Can I get a rewind? Oh, go on. Go on, mate. You know what you want to. I've undone the cap on the master cylinder as well. Just to try and help myself a bit. With back pressure. It's moving, which is a good sign. Oh man, come to Papa. Once drop link's doing as well at the front, but I think I'm taking the piss doing that. Maybe tomorrow when we break time. I've already been on the steam cleaner this morning on the uh, Sierra seats. A little bit on them. Definitely squealing. Put me right where you keep the lots on. Yeah. Just put a dab of this on piston like for good measure. Horrible stuff in it. Oh she bangs. Brakes will probably be off again soon. Don't think MLT man's gonna like that. You can see the hose where it's perished. Yeah, slide rear brakes done. Good morning, folks. Just gonna crack the Bissell out again. Only two little bits of seat to do today. A little bit of light staining on it. Not too bad. See what we can get out of it. It's a nice little scrubber dub dub. That's my back seat slicked. Come up nice. The colour of the water again. Every time. It's unbelievable what comes out of them. You can see where the seat belt's been. <laughs> Proper tan line. No way. Whose bright idea was it to fix a car in a green jacket? Uh, drop links are done. You can either go easy or bad. And they went terrible. Oh, I had to use an angle grinder on one. <laughs> and a reciprocating saw on the other. The first one dropped a bit, see my fingers. I was, the ball actually came out of the socket. I've never seen that in my life. Never ever. New levels of neglect. The electrician showed me new levels of neglect. These drop links, a bit like my jacket. That's proper neglect, rolling around under his bleeding car. Oh, I've got a black hoodie on as well, I could have been all right. Well, covered in shit still, but you wouldn't have seen it. Made sure that electric was right off as well when I left my seats above that fire when I walked off. I don't want to fall for that one again. Uh, scooped a brake job as well, lad wants his brakes doing. Come over to me in the car park fixing that other guy's car. <laughs> yes, lad. Good morning, guys. Like a donut. I forgot the fuzz away, so I can't be doing my parcel shelf. Dun, dun, dun. I've got to do the seat. One of the seats out of my van, give it a whirl. 
see if we can get some improvement. You can see it's got a lot of staining on it. Might just do top first and then have a look at the bottom. Let's see what a uh, little green can do. Grim times, what's come out of my seat. Look at that, it's probably about a litre. A litre still in the seat. Jeez. But yeah, you could probably get that out again. It was absolutely rotten. That's a second pass. You could do that till the cows come home. Bad signal today, you've got to have the tunes in the bin. Out here. No Wi-Fi, man. Don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up, but can you see the difference in my seats? After a clean today. Holy smoke. Wow. Oh, yes, people, it's Friday. Steak for tea and early finish. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I've not even had my breakfast and I'm thinking about my tea. <laughs> yes. I've got a bum fluff remover. Trying to remove a bit of this fluff. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Well, something's coming out. That, it's not exactly what I was hoping. If I'm honest, it's not done a right lot, that's what's come out of it. Took the guard off it, try and get a bit of a closer shave. Yeah, believe it or not, it actually looks better in person. <laughs> You'll have to just trust me on that one, my God. That's what I've got off it. It's probably actually worth doing. It's not like mince, but compared to what it came in here, the whole world better. Yeah, you put that in your car now and it'd be all right. Pretty fresh. Or bum fluff remover. From here, it looks bang on when you're not right up close to it. Jeez. Someone's only going to be looking through the window at it, aren't they? They're not going to be right up close. From like five paces, that looks mint. Look at this little mincer in a garage somewhere I'm picking a bonnet up. It's got the XR2 spoiler on it. Little pepper pots on it and all that. Not bad. Escort van as well. All the classic Fords. Good morning all. I don't know. You're going to be able to hear me very well today. Oh, freezing, it's dead windy, carnage. That was over there. It's been catapulted in the wind. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit leery today. I'm going to crack on with this window, I think. Get it back in. Uh, a master bonnet to do. A few little jobs, really. So it's going to be same old. Yeah, I'll just be... Uh, Chopping in and out of jobs, I guess. Oh, that can't stay there, can it? <laughs> got Ricaro stashed everywhere because I got that many of them at the minute. They're all over the shop. I've just started by washing the glass down now. All it is fairly liquid and a bit of soap. Just going to dry it off now. Try and clean it up. I'm not too impressed with my bonnet. It's full of bloody stone chips and like scratches but it's better than a bent one it's like it's been washed with sandpaper <laughs> oh well anyway let's crack on with this window get it clean cleaned up and dried i'm going to blade off any uh, mastic i don't know how well you can hear me but i'm just going to scrape off the urethane with a razor blade Trying to get off the glass now. You might be able to see it, like a dark line here, this. This line here. Uh, I think it's lacquer. Some days gone by. Just be nice. Ooh, just be nice to get it off. It's coming, but I got it soul destroying this. Part in your mouth as well, because you don't really want to damage it any more than it is. Strongly. Oh, listen to that wind. 
Hi Dave, that has took probably about two hours. Sheesh. Doesn't look pretty now, but progress. I put a microphone on, hopefully, hopefully you can hear me now. I spent about two hours with finger blades chopping down this Europlane round the window. Probably didn't have to go that mad to be honest, but I've got it right back to the original stuff. I cleaned it up with what is it, ace tone or something like that. Yeah, dab of that, it's pretty good stuff. I've gone over the glass as well. I've got some primer. Add that first. And then well we've got these little drumsticks to apply it. And then it's oh no, I don't want to get dirty. Yeah, then there's some urethane in a tube with a like a silicon gun. That's how I'll apply it. But absolutely man, I was destroyed, soul destroyed doing that. Oh, can you see all the bits in there and scrapping about? Yeah, what a horrible, horrible job. There's a good bit of cleaning up to do yet. The first boo boo. I've got flipping tiger seal. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That is not going to do. That's for like permanently bonding stuff like body kits to metal. I'm going to have to go and get some proper urethane. Oh my days. I've had all week to order this as well. Sat there buzzing, thinking, yeah man, do me window Saturday. What an absolute turkey. I'm absolutely spewing that that's tiger seal. I'm going to have to go out. This is like, what's well, this going to be an hour and a so out in the car? I had to go out for three and a half hours for that bonnet yesterday. I mean, we could fit that now, but it's a bit windy and it's no fun, is it? Oh, I'm absolutely wounded. I suppose I better get, stop crying and go and do something about it, eh? Jesus. Love it. Well, I've blown that one out of my hoop. I'm going to go in and make a cup of tea. I've ordered some off Amazon. It says it'll be here tomorrow, but Sunday tomorrow, so I ain't got any hopes up. I noticed there's quite a lot of water coming in around the back lights, so may as well pull them out while I'm sat here. Address all this water's getting in. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, let's have a look at this, the water leaking in. They must be letting water in these seals. I'll have to pop them out and have a look. It's never ending with an old cord, is it? They are new seals, you know. Not that old. Literally months old. We've changed them. Uh, November or something like that. What are we in now, March? Uh, is what it is, isn't it? I've got some nice lights I could put in though. Yeah, we'll have to see. <laughs> as basic as basic gets. Just pop the holder out. I've got four 11 mils. Just want to have a look around the seals, see why, the, why all the water's coming in. I don't know, they are proper wet, look. But if you look at it, the indentation all the way around it, it's been tight. Tight enough to make a mark on it. So how is the water getting past? When I got them, a couple of months back, they were flat like that. Surely, I don't want to have to put silicon around them. My God. Oh, listen to that. Sometimes I think this thing's going to blow away while I'm sat in it. So I'm a few issues with one of these. It's unscrewed out of there. So I'm going to put a bit of heat on it and try and get the nut off it. Not the end of the world. If you can get that off, it'll be ideal. I've used it for a few things this now, haven't I?
everything about the ship and paint. No, it's not moving that. Surely that's got to be hot. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. There's enough to free it off. You don't want to gnarl up that bit too much. Because that's the bit that goes into the light. Plus gas. Yeah, speed one, I think. Don't want it catapulting across the room, so I'm not going mad with it. I've been trying to find it. Still a little, little tight there. See how far I can get down now. Whoa, not very. I'm just dropping it. that all the way to the enemy fingers oh I'm well happy with that this is where they come from just gonna use a 10 mil deep socket to screw it back in just been my wheel in these studs just so I can get the screws on easy you can get them all on properly with your fingers. You're on to a winner. Yeah, no problem with that one. That's our first problem one. But compared to what that was. A lot better. Right, we've got one stuck in the car. Got one stuck here. It's going to be a tough one to get out that. Yeah, I'm just trying to wire wheel the back of this nut without scratching hell out the paint. That's the nut we're after there. That's the nut. Can you see it? I've managed to get a bit of shine on the back of it. Bring out the big gun. Hope I've not gnarled it up too much. That's one for this side anyway. Going on alright. Look at that. Oh, almost drops it. Only plastic. This one for the archives. PJ Motorsport. They're uh, well discontinued these. I've had them in storage for a few years now. Smoke back lights from way back when. Look at them puppies. Well, yeah, this one's been put away properly in a bag. Here's the cleaning bag for the other one. If this is the receipt, how much were they back in the day? Smoke real lights, 50 quid, 50 quid, 
50 quid. That's all right. Paid by check. Look at that, 50 quid for a, set of a small rear lights in the, back in the day. What was it, 2006? <laughs> no wonder. Whoa. Be a bit, bit dearer than that nowadays, I reckon. No way, Jose. 50 quid. Can't believe that. Well, £51.5p. <laughs> bit of an odd number, isn't it? £51.5p. Thinking. That's just rude, isn't it? <laughs> that is rude. Very ignorant. 2006. Dead stop rear lights. It gets loud in here when this rain's coming down. Can't hear yourself think, man. <laughs> 